You told him yet? No. Well, he's off to Sheffield for two weeks. You tell him before he goes. I didn't know you two were going out with each other. Oh, yeah, we've been keeping it quiet. It's very romantic. Yeah. Missed you, you know, while you were away. Did you? Yeah, every minute. I bet you miss Katie too. Go on. Did you miss me? Yeah, I missed you. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> People need their own space. Yeah. Katie can have as much space as she wants. You're very understanding. It is possible to see too much of each other when you're in a relationship. Yeah, and when you're not. Oh, here she is now. I better make myself scarce. Uh, no, don't. No, you've got things to talk about and I don't want to get in the way. He's all yours. Cheers. Katie. Hiya. All right. Nervous? Uh, yeah, you. You know, this don't quite cover it. Bricking it, mate. Oh, I'll be with you. Yeah, I'm not wavering. I love you. I'm telling both our families tonight. Yours first, then mine. Okay. All right, mate. All right. It's good to be back. You're off to school early, are you? Uh, yeah, I've got some catching up to do. Ah. Same as some others have. I ain't got to catch up. I've got a big brain. <laughs> Come and give me a cuddle, then. Oh, <laughs> oh. Close fine for me, thanks. Yeah, I miss you too, Craig. <laughs> See you later, Dad. Yeah, take care, darling. Hey, look at her. 17, son. <laughs> yeah, listen. Tom. What are you doing tonight? Don't know. Put probably. Right, put round, pick you up. Yeah, no need off you go. No, I'll come round anyway if that's all right with you. Six ish. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Oh, got me purse. All right, lads. Hey, just give me five minutes, yeah? Yeah, okay. It's all good. Got a pretty sharp dish then, didn't I? Well, I didn't walk off holding his head going, ow, oh, ow, oh, did he say no? Yeah, well, there's no excuses now, has he? <laughs> did your mum nag about me not coming? Oh, she'll forgive you. Yeah? It doesn't sound like her. <laughs> How's Katie been? Oh, she's been a bit upset over Tyrone, but she's not letting on. Why, what's she done? Hey, back in your cage, he's done nout. She's dumped him. Has she? Good. It's about time she saw some sense. Let's hope the next one's got a bit more gumption than that daft beggar. You think there'll be a next one? Lads round here would be too terrified of you to ask her out. Well, let's keep it that way. Anyway, never mind Earl of Life. It's ours we need to catch up on coming. <laughs> oh, can you stop that? You can't afford to send me to a psychiatrist. Oh, don't be like that. You should be made up for us. Being in love's the most natural thing in the world. Mm. <laughs> what about you and I, Katie, splitting up? Yeah? Look, I can't say I'm not pleased. I never thought you were good enough for her. Oh, really? Cos I thought you wanted us to get married. Come on, Tyrone, admit it. You're too old for her. She's still at school. Oh, so you don't like the idea of an older bloke teenage girl? Not unless it's me. <laughs> anyway, let's put all this bad feeling behind us and concentrate on being workmates. Suits me. You moved then, Gaskets? Oh, I'll get on. Martin definitely hasn't told him yet. Mm. You said out. Drake, I ain't got a death wish. You told Tom yet? You're telling both our families tonight, actually. Yeah, of course you are. Well, you've asked, and I've told you what's happening. I don't care if you believe me or not. I know you don't care. Find that out when you let me take a beating on your behalf. It so wasn't like that. Oh, what happened to me is going to be nothing compared to what happens to you. Tyrone, come on. Hey, and he thought I was too old. Oh, get lost, Tyrone. What's he going to think of you, eh? Oh, you can walk away now, but get ready to run later, Martin. He'll rip you in half. Thinks I'm coming round to take him out for the pint. Well, perhaps you can go for one after we've told him. Oh, yeah, very optimistic. I think we're still going to be on drinking terms. Look, all we've got to remember is they cannot do anything to break us up. No, they can't. Maybe they'll see that straight away and show some maturity for a change. Oh, yeah, some hope. Katie! Uh, six o'clock, okay. We're out in the open. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Right, well, I'll be off. Things to do. I haven't seen you in ages. How have you been? Pretty good. Are you still seen Tyrone? Nah, I chucked him. Oh, well, don't blame you. You seen anyone else? Sarah. Look, I'm sorry. I'm in such a mad hurry. I've got loads to do. Yeah, all right. Um, I was just wondering uh, what you're doing for your birthday. It's this week, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know yet. I'll let you know, though, yeah? See ya.
You look terrible. Oh, I'm fine. I shall. They're not ready yet. So, uh, you're still going through with that? Yeah, yeah, you just follow my way. Don't do anything like me, okay? Okay. What are you two whispering about? No, no business. Hiya, Martin. It won't be a minute. He's oh. getting dressed pub speed. Okay. You know, come in. I'll follow you on. I'm getting kids to tea. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, mate. All right. You ready then? <laughs> right, you're gonna catch us up in a minute, love. Yeah, don't drink all the beer. Oh, I won't. <laughs> right, where's my keys? Keys gone. Uh, look, uh, there's something that you need to know. You all right? What's up? Um, I, I don't think I, I can make it for a pint. Oh, not feeling well. No, it's not that really. There's something that you really need to know. Katie. Look, me and Katie. Well, we're in love. What do you mean? Is this some kind of a joke? Look, I know it's come as a bit of a bombshell. But we couldn't have put it any simpler. We love each other. We're in love. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. Right. Get to your room. There's no way. I'm not missing this. Get upstairs now! It's not me you want to be having a go at, is it, Dad? Well, why do you think? Because you're too young, that's why. I'm only four years younger than she is. Shut up, Craig. This is none of your business. Shh. But this is why you're fucking poking your nose in. It's daft, it's not as if I won't be able to hear every word you say. All right, come on, Martin. Hey, I'm all ears. You've got some serious explaining to do. No, no, no. Not till Tommy comes in first. Right. Tommy, what are you doing? Right, come in and sit down. Come on. Right. We're going to listen to what they've got to say before we do out. Right then. So how long has all this been going on? Look, I don't expect you to be happy about this. Not at first. How time. long, Martin? Well, it's hard to say. You must know when it started. Look, for a long time, I was trying to put the barriers up. I was trying to resist... That makes it sound like I did all the running. Oh, no! Nobody did all the running. It was a mutual thing. We were both attracted to each other. I mean, we both said at the start, whoa, this can't happen, it just can't happen. But the, the more we try to keep our distance... You can't fight it, Mum. Our feelings for each other are just too strong. Let go of her hand. Oh, look, Tommy. Let go of my daughter's hand. Look, Tommy, I know this... Let go of her hand or I'll break everything you've got! Oh, yeah, that helps, Dad. Don't be winding him up, Katie. You are so predictable. Threatening with violence and way, problem solved! No, 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 no. Are you pregnant? Oh, you prefer that, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. If I got pregnant to some dozy 16-year-old, you two would actually prefer it. Yeah, but at least I've rehearsed that conversation. This is... This is a mature, sensible relationship with someone I love. Katie, answer the question. Are you pregnant? No. Well, that's something. You can leave now. What? Go. Now. <laughs> no, hang on a minute. I came here to talk this through. I don't want to talk about it. Not here, any road. Now, get out of this house while no, you still can. No, Tommy, come on, let me explain first. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, well, you're going to hear it. Look, I've not been through all this, so back off now, Tommy. Look, I'll be honest with you. I'm shaking like a leaf here. I've been dreading this for weeks. But it's done, OK? It can't be undone. It's out in the open, and we need to talk through what's going to happen next. OK. You want to talk? I'll talk. OK, good. Me and you, outside, now. No, 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 no. Let's talk in here. No, at the back, man to man. Tommy, this affects us all. Let's just talk about it like adults, the four of us together. <gasps> There's only three adults here, Martin. Oh, yeah, you're right there. Three of us are trying to have a grown-up discussion. And you, you're going outside now like a big kid. Are you coming? You might as well go home. You wouldn't even listen to you. If you think there's anything you can say that'll make this all right, come and say it outside. If you've got the guts. You're pathetic. If not, get out of my house and don't come back. You should go. 
Yeah, go on. I'll, I'll deal with it. I'll bring you later. No. I've got to go out and talk to him, haven't I? He ain't going out there to talk. He just don't want blood on no, the carpet. No, no, you don't understand. I've got to face him, You've haven't I? You've faced him. you just told him. He's not going to take me seriously unless I go out there. No. He'll never take you seriously ever again. Neither will I, nor anyone else. Because you've destroyed your reputation for good, Martin. Do you realise that? Oh, yeah, that? yeah. Well, we'll see, won't She's we? She's 16 years old! Past the age of consent, in other words. He's supposed to be his mate. Someone he could trust. Yes, I know. That's a go, then. Go on. You should leave us alone. Because it's a miracle you're still in one piece. And if you go out there trying to make excuses for what you've done, he'll kill you. And there's not a parent alive who'd blame him. Has he gone? No, I've been trying to convince him to, but you, you don't have to do this, you know. Oh, I do. But well, I'll be all right. OK. Don't listen to me, Tom. Leave us alone, aren't you? Well, I know you want a leather in, but if you do this, you're playing into his hands. The more you hit him, the more she'll love him, and the more she'll hate us. Don't make yourself into the bad guy. Just, uh, just fight with your head for once, eh? And I don't mean butt him. Go inside. Promise me you won't lose your temper. I don't want no courts, no police, no one else involved. Just, just... Make him leave her alone and, and throw him out, OK? OK. Don't promise me. Yeah. Look, just go inside and let me deal with it, yeah? Katie, go inside with your mother. Oh, no. Do as you're told. Whatever you two have got to say, I have got a right to hear it. You haven't even got the right to buy half a lager, love. Now get inside! Go on, Katie. I'll be all right. If you touch him, I am phoning the police. Leave him to it. If he's going to hit him, he'd have done it by now. I mean it, ma'am. If he does, I'm calling the police. He won't. I've just had a word with him now. Come on. Right, sit down, love. Tell me how you got yourself into this mess. Right. Let's not do anything stupid. It's too late for that. Yeah. Well, my family live next door, so just keep your voice down, eh? They've gone out. I saw him leave earlier, so no one's gonna hear us. It's just you and me. I know how you must feel. No, you don't. Well, I can imagine. Give me a go, your Sarah. Let me get my hands on your 16-year-old daughter. Let me take her to bed. Let me get her right good seeing to. Then you'll know how I'm feeling. It wasn't like that. Wasn't it? No. Which part of it wasn't like that? Was she not 16? Well, of course she was. Have you not slept with her? Tell me. It's not as dirty as you're making out. Oh, so it's as pure as the driven snow, is it? This love you well, keep banging on about. Well, it's the real thing, if that's what you mean. Have you slept with her? Oh, you don't want the gory details. So there are gory details. Oh, no! Have you slept with her? Tommy! I'm not here because I've slept with her. OK. Oh, come on. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Answer the question. Look, I know what people are going to think when this all comes out, and I know what you're thinking now, but believe me, Tom, if I could have avoided this, then I would have done. Look, I've tried to pretend there was nothing between us. I've tried to keep me distance. Not very hard. And when it started, I've tried to stop it. i tried to convince myself it wasn't serious. But it is serious. I love Katie. And I can't stop loving her. You're too ashamed to give me a straight answer to a straight question. Because you know it's wrong. All right, Tommy. All right, I've slept with her. All right. I've slept with her, Tom. And it wasn't dirty or cheap. It wasn't a quick one-night stand. It took some building up to. And when it happened, it was something very special to me. And I want that to carry on. Which is why I'm doing you the courtesy of letting you know. Tommy, me and Katie love each other. We're going to carry on loving each other. And sooner or later, you're going to have to accept it. What was that? Martin's a dead man. My dad just smacked him one. I saved your daughter's life. I jumped into a canal and saved her life. And what did you do in return, eh? How did you pay me? Get out! 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 You promised me! He asked for it! You are just a bully! That's all you are! If he doesn't deserve a slap, I don't know who does! Get out! Are you all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Just forget it, Martin. They won't even listen. Yeah. Well, now he's going to have to listen, isn't he? No, just go. I'll deal with him. Yeah, that's it. Let a 16-year-old schoolgirl fight your battles for you. Look, Tommy. I didn't come here for a fight. Well, go then! Yeah, but I'm not stupid. I half expected a pasting. A pasting? If I had a gun in the house, I'd shoot you right between the eyes, you pervert. 
loving your daughter does not make me a pervert. Don't give us that age of consent crap. I am 17 on Friday. Right, if we'd have moved her a year earlier when she were 15, would you have noticed her then? No, and I left the be. All right, but bang, she's 16, you can't control yourself. Well, I tried. We both tried. You moved in. You slept on me couch. You got her a job at the hospital. Oh, you asked him to. What was I supposed to do? Say no! There must be hundreds of nurses your age in that place. You can't be stuck for choice, so why pick her, eh? I just don't get you two. You know, we could have kept this secret. She just said you did do for months. Yeah, and we could have carried on. It would have been the easiest thing to do. But no, when we realised this was no flash in the pan, when we knew we were going to have to face the truth, we'd done the hard thing, we've come to see you, and you two should respect us for that. Martin, no one's ever going to respect anything you do ever again. You're meant to be my mate. We drink together, we go fishing together. Yeah. And you're going to have to face up to the truth as well. Just the same as we have. You're supposed to throw the little ones back. Didn't no one ever tell you that, mate? Plenty of fish in the sea, but you like the little ones, don't you? No. No. I like Katie. Sarah was 12 when she got pregnant. Makes you wonder, doesn't oh. it? <gasps> oh. You right, are I sick, see. you are. Yeah, you are right. There's no point in talking about this, Yeah, it? talking's over. You're a pervert, and now we know you and her, it stops. No, you can't just turn your feelings off like It stops, or you're a dead pervert, Platt. You just don't get it, do you? <laughs> you just can't get it in your thick head, can you? If you want me to stop loving your daughter, you're gonna have to kill me, Tommy. I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. Get to your room! Oh, come on, show us I said get out of stairs! You love all this, don't you? Mm. It's like one great big romantic fairy tale to you. Yeah, right. You're the princess. Martin's the knight in shining armour. Your dad's the overprotective king. I don't want you to be happy. The days of you telling me fairy tales, ma'am, are long gone. I am a grown woman. And I'm in love with a grown man. There's no perverted about it. It just happened. I love these things don't just happen. You may be too young to oh, realise it. Oh, change the yeah. record. But something like this. Two of you must have seen it coming a mile off. First look, first kiss, first time in his flat, first time in his bedroom. It must have been hundreds of times when he could have done the right thing, but he didn't. He's taken advantage of you. No one took advantage. It probably seems all exciting no, it now. it seems like the right thing. That is what it seems like. Yeah, but give it a couple of weeks when the novelty's worn off, you'll be stuck with a man more than twice your age, somebody you've got now in common with. Believe me, Katie, it's not going to work. Well, you've not to worry about then, have you? Where have you been? <sighs> that diabetic call me had. Is that when he first came on to you? No. That is when he saved my life. <laughs> That's right. Night in shining army, see? <sighs> Shut up! What are you doing now, will you? Come and sit down for five minutes. I'm going to fix the fence before the neighbours get on. I'm going out. No, you're not. Oh, what? Grounded now, am I? You're more grounded than you've ever been in your life, girl. Dad, he used to ground me for not eating my veg or not doing my homework. Those days are gone. I am not the little girl you used to put on your knee and sing Kukka Katie to. I'm 17 on Friday. I've grown up and there's no you can do about it. The front door is double locked. I've got your keys. I've got the keys to every window lock. You are not setting foot outside this house until I know that you and Martin Platt are history. I don't know, a bit of reverse psychology. Give her a blessing and might take the shine off it a bit. Sure, we'll see through that. Oh, will you keep your beak out, please? Live it on her, the invisible sun. Hey, and keep it buttoned at school. Like I'd want anyone to know. It's sick. Day two. In the Victorian house. Katie got up to find that Tommy had locked all the doors and windows. Isn't this is funny? I'm a laughing. Come on, I'll lock in with you. You may have a shame of it. You're working from home today. Huh? No, I don't think so. Can I not? No. no. You can use the table. I need reference books. 
You'll just have to manage without. Fine. I don't care if I fail my elbow. Well, if you fail him, it's down to him. Oh, what do you think you're doing the cereal in there? Fancy bit of chocolate. And my blood sugar's low, not that you two care. Oh, where's me violin? Look, maybe I should put me at dinner time, so you're winding each other up. No, I want to be here when Platt comes knocking. You baby's sitting there. Oh, I don't believe this! You can't keep me locked up forever. Will you stop seeing Martin? No chance. She's already stopped. It ended yesterday. Yeah, right. Right, then, with no choice, you're grounded. And you two are up your head. I'm going to work, come on. And try not to kill each other. Oh, and uh, tell Martin, if you see him, that I love him more than ever. I do, you know. And I don't care if he's 35 or 95. I love him. Angela? Stay away from her. How is she? Tommy will break your legs if you can hear, and I won't be phoning 999. Just tell me that she's okay. What harm is she going to come to in her own home? She's safe with us. Is she all right? She's fine. As long as she stays away from 35-year-old blokes who take advantage. Kevin? Tommy's not coming in, he's sick. Oh, great. Tell him we couldn't have picked a better day. Three MLTs, two Campbell. Look at you told them then. Yeah. We told them all right. At least it's in the open. Yeah, yeah. Better have it in there. Tommy said that he wanted to have a go with our Sarah. <laughs> didn't expect him to get the cigars out, did you? Welcome you to the family. No. I didn't expect him to put her under flipping surveillance either. Uh, that explains Tommy's sick here. Oh, I'm very sorry, Kevin, if my seedy little love life's interfering with your garage. It's not just a garage, is it? We've been mates for years. I never thought I'd be warning you off school, Bill. Uh, just the one, actually. She could have left this summer, but she's stopping on. She stopped, she's worth it. No, Dad. I don't think you're losing the plot at all. I think you're a perfectly sane bloke. Room. I'd rather have a key to the front door. Oh, and the living room door, of course. What? So you can run to the library and get your reference books? Mm. Look, I know it seems like a big age gap, but it's only numbers. By the time I'm 30, Martin will be 49, and no one will be a bit interested. But you're not 30. You're just a kid. I'm 17 on Friday. Many up returns. Are you going to keep me locked up forever? I've got to keep him away from you. He's dangerous. Why won't you trust my judgment? He flattered you. Give it a load of that. He talked you into his bed. Give me, give me that phone. Dad, give, give. You? You're a bully, you are. Be strong. Love you too. See? We love each other. Dad, what are you doing? That's my phone! Oh, Dad, will you let me out? She's grounded, Nora. Look, I'm flying solo over there. I'm up to my eyes in it. So is Tyron. He's at court with Jack Duckworth. Look, I know you've obviously got things on your plate, but I'm trying to run a business. I could maybe do a couple of hours for you tonight. But that's no good to me. I've told McLaughlin four o'clock. The right kick-off merchant. I thought you'd gone a bit quiet. Yeah, well, you'll fuck me one day. Been satisfied, Kevin. Came clean like you wanted, and now I've been held hostage. Hostage? Behave yourself. Hang on. You knew. Hey, before you go off at the deep end. You knew that Platt were having it away with my teenage daughter. I didn't want to know, Tom. It was too much information. Well, you should have kept your nose out then, shouldn't you? You knew. Bet you and Tyrone had a right laugh. You're joking, are you? Look, Tyrone was just trying to be a mate to Katie. He didn't know it was Martin she was seeing, so he covered up for the resident pervert. Well, will you stop calling him that? 
I'd be totally fooled a little get. Listen, the only thing you owe that lad is an apology, right? Me and you give Platt loads of stick about his young nurse. Wait, hey, fill your boots, Martin. Well in, Martin. Yeah, well, that was before I knew it was Katie. Yeah, get over it, Dad. I am a grown woman. Stay there! You never said a word. What sort of fella sits on something like that? I said plenty. Not to me, you never. See what you've done? You're as bad as your pervy, mate. You owe me a full day's graft. And one very top-notch apology, right? Yeah? Well, don't hold your breath. I hate you. I actually hate you! Yeah, well you must do to take up with Platt. Hey, yeah, it's me again. You probably can't talk. A lot of me keeping out your dad's ways, making things better or worse for you. I can't stand not being able to see you. Right, send us another text, as soon as you can. Love you. Hey, love. Get your studying done. I've been too busy with a dustpan and brush. There's the first. No, my dad smashed up my mobile. Yeah, well, you shouldn't text lover boy, should you? Please, I'm a jumpy back. Yeah, of course, we'll be fine. Okay, you've only got yourself to blame for this. But like we're all down to Martin. Oh, you think you're so clever, don't you? You are. Shampoo's in one of the bags, yeah? Pity? Come on, Joanna. I've been ringing and ringing you. <laughs> then Dad has totally lost it. Oh, you're not kidding. Come here. Let go of my daughter! I said, let go! Do it, make a new gun back up! Get it, get it, get it! 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 Next time, I'll kill you! Yeah, I love her! You're a kidney fiddler! You should be on one of them registers! No need now, though, is there? Because I've named and shamed you! This is from me and my dad. Don't want it, Dad. Don't want it. Right, I'll take it back to the shop, then. Well, don't say it was us this bloody birthday. Yeah, I'll always stand out of my mind, this one. A year I got put under house arrest. I want to go to school. Well, go then. I can't. All the doors are locked. Right. I either get in the electric fence or stall later. Birthday present. Yep, that and uh, the bars in my bedroom window. Have you had your injection? What do you care? To see Katie. Over my dead body. Or yours, whichever. Hey, hey, hang on, hang on. At least let's talk about this first. Martin? Hiya. You all right? Of course she's all right. They still won't let me out. Get inside. Man, I can't even go to school. I said get inside. Tommy, you can't lock her up forever. She's 17. She's a young woman. You are. She's still a child. Now, if you don't want a broken foot, shift it. the girl that's young enough to be your daughter. Look, Audrey, if I wanted your opinion, I'd have asked for it. You know, I thought you got more about you than to take advantage of a schoolgirl. Um, I haven't took advantage of anyone. Oh, for goodness sake, the girl's not old enough to know what's right or wrong. The pair She's of you. 17, Audrey. 17. Oh. Uh, I haven't broken any laws, you know. I'll tell you what. You soon find out who your friends are, don't you? 
Come on. Let's get you in before anybody else puts in the two penny. Just give me the keys. No. Give me a... You're not leaving this house. You brought this on yourself, Katie. You can't keep me locked up. It's for your own protection. I don't need protecting. Well, ever Martin Platt's roaming around outside this house, you do. Can't you see what he's done to you? How many times do I have to say it? It was me that started it. Me. I made the first move, not him. Well, I don't care who started it. I'm finishing it. What is the problem you've got with me, something Sellers? I don't have a problem, as long as they're your own age. Oh, come off it. He nearly broke Tyrone's nose because you thought we were going out with him. That was different. How? He weren't good enough for you. Oh, let's face it, Dad. No one's good enough, either. If I were going out with Prince William, you still won't be happy. Don't be ridiculous. Look, if you let me out, I won't go and see mine. I promise. I'll just go straight into school. It's my first term in sixth form. I'm missing all kinds of stuff. Please, if you just open the door and let me go. No. Oh, Mum, will you tell him? I'm sorry, love. I'm with your dad on this. It's for the best. Yeah, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Just been on the phone to the school. They're going to send her work home for the next couple of weeks. That long? What am I supposed to tell Bowles with? You can always send her across to your mother's. Sheffield. No, I am not going there. We're not asking you, Katie. We're telling you. Uh, I've got to get to work. Lock us out, will you? Yeah, I know. Martin, they're sending me to Sheffield. Well, I don't know how long, do I? All I know is that I'm not going. Well, they can't do this to me. They can't do it to us. Yeah, I'm fine. I just feel a bit out of it, that's all. Look, I've got to go. I'll speak to you later, all right? What are you doing? Nothing. You can't eat that. Who says? You know you can't. You've gone to a coma. Oh, don't be stupid. I think I know what I can and can't eat. Just keep that out. You said you could cut into this cake. I haven't. Well, where's it gone? I don't know. It wasn't me, I'm telling you. I haven't touched this stupid cake. It was me. What? I ate it. What are you going to do? Oh, no, Pauline, what's the matter with you? Look, you can't keep trying to control me. Hiya. 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 I just want to say that I know. By you, my dad. The thanks for lying to me. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Because you've got what you wanted, haven't you? Well done. No. We didn't plan it. We were supposed to be friends and you just used me. You make me sick. Both of you. Tommy, Tommy, quick! She's oh, collapsed. Oh no! Hang on. Hang on. Ambulance. It's all right, Kate. It's all right. I'm going to get you to the hospital now. Hey, she's going to be all right, isn't she? I hope so. What's happened? Is she all right? I'm a nurse. She's a diabetic. Katie. Katie. Can you hear me? What's she doing here? Oh, you. Get away from her. Come here. Katie. Hey. This is all your fault, right? You've done this to her. Well, I'm telling you, if what happens to her, you're going to pay. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're going to pay. Tommy. Tommy. Your daughter. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Please. 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 I can't believe you've come down here. Stop. Have you got a nerve? Hey, stop it! All I want is I know what you want. I want to see it again, man. Stop it! 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 Stop
He's not Broadway. Broadway, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, he's going. Stop it. Okay. The guy's just wound up. How long are we going to take, eh? I mean, why don't somebody tell us something? But all we Tommy, want... I've read them leaflets over and over, just like you. I don't want to go over them again, even now. I invited that man into our house. I can't believe all that stupid. Mr. and Mrs. Harry? Yes. I'm Dr. O'Brien. I've been treating your daughter. How is she? Your daughter's going to be fine. We've managed to stabilise her. We were lucky. This time we caught the hypoglycemic coma in time. And no side effects. Give her a night's sleep and she'll be as good as new. <sighs> Thank God. Thanks, Doctor. I said we were lucky this time, Mr. Harris. Uh, yeah, we know. Look, I can't think what made her forget to take her injection, but I swear I'll make sure it never happens again. She didn't forget to inject, Mr. Harris. What? This attack was brought on by a massive intake of chocolate, sugar and sweets. I take it your daughter is well aware of the dietary restrictions. Yeah, we all are. So what went wrong this time? Nothing. Being a teenager for any child is a stressful period. Being a diabetic one is even harder. And they can require a massive amount of support. Is Katie under any extreme pressure? Problems at school? Any emotional difficulties? You say she did it on purpose? It's not unknown with adolescents. A desperate cry for help. Killing yourself to cry for help? It can be. Are there any problems? It was an accident. Can we see her? Yes, of course. But she's heavily sedated. You won't get much sense out of her before tomorrow morning. I won't get much sense out of her even then. So we can take her home tomorrow. Let's see, shall we? Come on, son. Look, you go. I've seen her all wired up before. I'll see her and keep guard. Okay. Is she a relative of yours? No, I'm just a friend of the family's. So do you know what's going on? This is no accident for the family's closed rank. Is there any reason you know that might have driven Katie to this? No. She's just a normal teenager. I don't think so, Martin. How is she? As I told the parents. Lucky. Oi. This is all your fault. You're our worst enemies. Oh, this big head is out. You're stubborn, stupid. You never had a word compromise in your life. And you think she's just going to wake up and say, Oh, sorry, Dad. She's not going to back down one bit, and you know that. So, what about you? Back down and what? Stand by and wave her on while she ruins her whole life. Well, that'd be wrong, that would. Totally wrong. Is that what you want? Let's all kiss and make up. Let's invite lover boy around, open a bottle and celebrate. No. Well, what then? I don't, I don't, I'm as angry as you are. But look where he's getting us. She's practically killing herself, Tommy. Somebody's got to give someone on this. Yeah, and I know who. when I get my hands on him. Well, that's going to help, innit? it? Except by making you feel better. You got any better suggestions? No. Well, then. I know you're right for once. He's got to be mine. He's, he's got to give her up. I'll make sure of that. Oh, no, you won't. I'll talk to him. I might talk some sense into him. I'm wasting my breath on you, too. You can try. But if it don't work... Don't bother about them. Ah, oh, you always make me smile. Katie, just what the hell are you playing at? Well, they had to make them understand that nothing they could do would stop us. Yeah, but you could have easily killed yourself. That is the whole point. I can't live without you, Martin. That is what we're trying to show them. Katie, that's crazy. Isn't that the same for you? 
Look, it's not some game. It's not some big gesture number. We're talking life and death here. And you really think I don't know that? Well, I don't know. I'm not so sure. You think I'm a kid? You reckon, like my mum and dad, that I'm too young to know what real love is? No. I know you understand, but... You know I love you. And? Why? Are you supposed to say something now? Yeah. I love you too. Of course I do. It might be better for everyone oh. if I didn't, but... Martin, you look terrible. Go on and get some sleep. And don't fret. My mum and dad have got the message about us now. Oh, and, uh, did anyone bring me a magazine? Ooh, team team. No varnish set. It ain't for me. Oh, I never suspected for one moment that it was, Craig. It's for your sister, I imagine. Is that right? It might be. Well, what's wrong with her? I mean, all those flashing lights and wailing sirens. You don't get that if you've just stubbed your toe, do you? She had one of her coma things. Oh, dear. What brought that on? I don't know. You see, I watch her when she's in here. Now, I don't actually technically have the full authority to refuse her if she's going to buy another walnut whirl or whatever. I mean, I mean, it's not like you asking to buy a packet of cigarettes. I'll never ask for a packet of fags. Oh, no, I don't mean to cast aspersions on either you or your sister. What? No, I, what I'm trying to say is that if she did try to make such a purchase in here, I mean, innocent enough for the many but deadly for the few, I would severely caution her. Yellow card, Norris. You won't. I'm cautioning you. Have I got that right? Well, that's a birthday card, Rita. It's a yellow card for pestering the lad. He's got enough on his plate without having to listen to you. I am merely inquiring about the welfare of our clientele. As a community oriented public service, it's perfectly natural. We are not a public service, Norris. We're a private concern. And what happened to his sister might be his concern. And when I say a public service, I, I mean, Rita, that we serve the public. Red card, Norris. What for? For arguing with the ref. Now, Craig, that's £1.40. And if you take my advice, you'll run for your life. Really, Rita, I think that's a bit much. I really do. Early bath, Norris. I beg your pardon. And put kettle on while you're out there. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, If it isn't lover by himself. Right. How do you get him, Sams? You stand at the school gates in the queue. Or can you do it stuck by the fire or by castle? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, well, I'm only pulling your leg, pal. What's wrong with the blokes around here? Have they all lost a sense of humour or what? Oh, we haven't, have we, mate? I thought like you were dead funny. Brought your magazine. For kids? It weren't my choice. Doctor thinks you'll be able to come home tomorrow. I'll come pick you up. What? So you can lock me away again? I just want to look after you, that's all. Make sure you're safe and sound. What does it take to get through to you? And you understood anything at all? Oh, yeah, I've understood loads. And I'm going to get things sorted, believe you me. Where's Mum? We thought we'd take it in turns. Oh, so you're still planning shifts when you get me home, then? Thought it would be your husband. Can't stop looking. Look, I didn't think I needed to bother to tidy up for Tommy. So, uh, tea? Coffee? You know what my daughter did and why. It wasn't because our Tommy tried locking her up, daft idea as it was. Never had a chance of working, but that wasn't the cause. That was a trigger. Okay. What was the cause, then? You. Oh, it was, was it? I was the one that locked the door and threw away the key, was I? I'm not here to yell at you. I'm not here to argue the toss. I'm here to save my daughter. This is not an idle spat, Martin. This is not something that'll blow away in the night. This is a matter of life and death, and you of all people should know that. Yeah, I do. Right. So what are you going to do about it? Well, it's not up to me. It really isn't. It's you lot. You've just got to let her be. She's got to be allowed to live her life. And ruin it. Well, why should it be that? She's got her head screwed on. She's old She's enough to... She's a Martin. <laughs> yeah, and for all her toughness, she's still dreaming in fairy tales. 
She thinks that me and Tommy are the wicked witches for locking her in the tower. And she sees you at, oh, God, alone those hours. Some white knight come galloping to the rescue. She's trapped herself in some mad love story and she's set to die for love. But we're not in a book, Martin. This is real life. The sunlight does come up because you get woke up with a kiss. You've got to help her. Oh. If you love her, let her go. Do you think I've not thought about this? I can't do it, Angie. I want her. I love her. You don't know what you're asking of me. Oh, I do. I know exactly what I'm asking. I want you to give life to me, little daughter. You've done it once. You've saved her. I want you to do it again. And only you can do it, and you know that, don't you? Only you. Have you thought about what I said? Uh, yes, thanks. Only you can put a stop to this. Please do it and do it today. Oh. Nice to be home, eh? Don't know. If it's going to lock me up again, then no, it is not nice to be back. Well, it's not going to be. It's going to work. Am I? Yeah, otherwise uh, Kevin will have you down as a part-timer. Well, you don't need to miss your shift either, because I'm going to school. Oh, I don't think so. Dad, I have got so much catching up to do. You just home from hospital. So? So, I'm concerned about you. Are you? Are you concerned about who I might bump into? It's your health that matters to me, Katie. Yeah, well, I'm fine. Tommy, let her go. And if you get poorly, love, just tell the teachers to get straight on to me, your dad. You okay? Yeah, we'll have some breakfast first. Tom, we've got to back off a bit. And, you know, now's not the time to let her know that we don't trust her. We don't? Yeah, I know, but we don't want her back in hospital either. Listen, I've had a good talk with Martin and I've told him what he's got to do. Me and all, Ange, repeatedly. Yeah, well, this time I think he listened to me. Hello? Oi, it's me. Martin? So? So? We, you can't keep us hanging on like this. Do you know the first thing she wanted when she got home, eh? To go back to school. I want her back in a routine that doesn't include you. Yeah, well, you already seem to have made my mind up for me. There's only one thing you can do. You're a father yourself. Yeah, and you're a mother. You don't seem to know who she is. And you certainly don't know what she wants. Oh, I do. The trouble is, she don't know what's good for her, so I'm stepping in. What with Tommy behind you, polishing up his size tens, so he can come and kick me in the face? There's no need for it to come to that. No, there isn't. As long as I step aside for some 17-year-old, he's just going to treat her like dirt. Not if I've got anything to do with it. Well, you won't even notice. As long as he's the right age. I notice most things about my daughter, and I've noticed how she's changed since she's been with you. Well, it's called growing up. Well, I want her to grow up at her own pace. Martin, I'm trying to reason with you, but I want an answer. Sorry? Reason? Reason doesn't even come into it. This is a witch hunt. I mean, all right, Hans, you've done a great job of getting everyone all steamed up here, but the one thing you don't realise is Katie's the one that's going to suffer here. Still an answered me. <sighs> well, I've got no choice, have I? So you can pat yourself on your back. Yeah. I'll finish it. Hiya. Hiya. Come all the way here to see me. Yeah. You all right? I am now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've been down to see you. Come around, but you went in. Uh, look, shall we go and get a coffee or something? What for? Look, the 
this is one of the hardest things I've had to do. But I have to do it. I just hope you understand why. You are. I'm sorry, Casey, but we're going to have to stop seeing each other. What are you talking about? It's just not working. I know what this is. It's my dad. He's been having a go again, aren't they? It's got nothing to do with your dad. Well, someone has. Because... Why are you checking it out? Because... I've had time to think. That's why. A time to stew, you mean? And worry? That in all that matters is us. No way are we splitting up. Why are you being such a wimp all of a sudden? Oh, look where I am, Katie. Do I fit in round here? Don't start this. I'm not starting anything. You're a kid. I'm 17. We could get married if we wanted to. What to be ashamed about. Oh, yes, yeah, so what was all that creeping round for? Using Tyrone, lying to your dad. He only did that for us. And now you're telling me you're too scared? It's not a case of being scared. So what is it then? Because you loved me enough to lie for me when it was a secret. So what is different now? Hang on. Don't get carried away. What are you talking about? What are you calling it, love? I was never in love with you, Katie. I don't believe you. Why are you telling me all this now? Because whatever I feel for you, and I do like you, it's not worth the aggro. So just a bit of fun? Yeah. So it's best it just comes to a natural end. Hey. So my mum and dad were right all along. You are just a dirty old man. Oh, Get away from me! Is Katie not back yet? No, she's probably sat around in Roy's Rolls or somewhere. Well, I'll go and get her. No, Tom, leave her. I need time to get over it, fair play. Yeah, well, as long as Martin doesn't expect any thanks from me. Hey, listen, if she takes it out on us, which she probably will, don't rise to it, okay? I don't care what she says, I'm just relieved, that's all. I know, love, but the nightmare's over for us, but she's going to be devastated. So take it easy on her, all right? Of course I will. Look, shouldn't we wait for her before we sit down? No, I'll just go and shout Craig. She can have hers on a tray later. She's not going to want to sit with us tonight, is she? <laughs> well, we've got her back. That's all that matters. Let me in. I need to see you. I really don't think it's a good idea, Katie. Changing my mind, Katie. I'm not asking you to. I deserve to know. Are you saying that all the time we spent together meant nothing? Everything you said about loving me was lies. You used me. No, I never used you, Katie. That is what you said. Yeah, I know I did, but that was just that was just to soften the blow. All right. So it wasn't true. You just giving in to all the pressure. No. I'm just taking notice of the people that I care about. People have got no right to judge us. Yeah, well, it's not an ideal world, is oh, it? Oh, don't patronise me! Never stop behaving like you're the only one that feels lousy and empty! You know, I've had some breakups in my time. None of them have left me in the mess that this has, all right? Oh, so you do love me, then? Of course I love you. But that changes nothing. Yes, it does. <laughs> We should be showing them they cannot break us up. Not how easy it is. I know you don't want us to split up, I just want you to have a family. I want you to have a normal teenage life. I don't want to drag all that from you. I don't care about that. I will give all of that up for you. Right, well, I told you what I want. Now it's your turn. You know what I want? No, I don't. All I know is that everybody seems to matter more than I do. Uh, no, they don't. Yes, they do. Or at least their opinions do. Oh, you reckon, do you? <laughs> Prove me wrong. You're so not wrong, Katie. I feel so ashamed of myself for caving into everyone. 
when you get home, you're just going to live a dog's life. So am I. <laughs> hey, hey. Move in with me. Are you, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You want, you want me to move in? I want you to move in. And you're not just saying it, I'm... No. I'm serious. Then, yeah, fantastic. No, you can think about it, you know. You don't have to say yes straight away. Why? What is there to think about? Because I want you to be sure. It's a big step for anyone. I am sure. If you are. I'm sure about that. And I'm sure about something else too. Mm. I love you. That's in the oven. If it's dried up, it's her fault. Well, how long do you think she's going to be? My guess is as good as yours. Finish your tea, will you? You've hardly eaten today. She's just been a jam queen. She's with Martin. Is that what you think she is, William? Well, I don't know if he's done what he's said. What do you mean, finish with her? You can talk about eating her, I do know what's going on. Well, if he has, she's not going to want to face us, is she? I won't say her. You won't need to. I might as well have hers, Norway. Right. Let's go across to the pub. Eh? Huh? Well, she won't want to see us, not if, you know. She's just got out of hospital this morning, love, thanks to that prat. I want to be here. Trust me, she needs some space. What if she's just playing games, wanting us to worry? Then we won't rise to it either way. Look, Craig, we're going for a quick drink, yeah? If Katie comes back, tell her she can come and get us. If she wants. Time for my insulin. Hmm. Well, we better face them sooner or later. You're not coming. Well, you're not going on your own. If I'm old enough to live with you, then I am old enough to stand up to my mum and dad. And I'll bring my stuff back. Hey. I thought it was moving in. Well, you think it's going to be that simple? Your dad's just going to lock you in again as soon as you tell him. After last time? Hmm. Anyway, he can't keep me under hill stress forever. And what about your mum? <laughs> Told her we were splitting up. Yeah, now we're not. Shouldn't we let them get used to the fact that we're not before we spring this on them? Look, do you want me here or not? Of course I do. Then, sooner or later, I'm going to have to go back and get my stuff. Jump out of the window if that's where it takes. Hmm. Look, if we took any notice of what they say, we wouldn't even be together. So, from tonight, it's about us. What we want. Hmm. You missed tea. Where are they? Pub. Eh? They didn't want to have to listen to you sobbing your heart out, and I don't either, so... I dumped you then. Maybe one of us should go home just in case she wants to talk. Tom, you know what she's like. If she senses that we're the least bit pleased, she'll go right back out there, plead with them to take her back just to spite us. Love, it's all part of growing up. I keep thinking, I wish I ain't kicked such a fuss up about her and saw her on in the first place. Well, maybe she'll take up with him again. Especially if she thinks we won't approve. I still don't. I think she can do a lot better than him. What are you doing? You haven't seen me, right? There's not going to be more bother, is there? So has he dumped you then, or what? My mum said he has her, haven't you seen him yet? Because you're going to look so stupid if you turn up there with your suitcase. Yes, I've seen him. I know he hasn't dumped me, OK? We're going to be back in a minute and my dad will go mental. Yeah, we'll just play dumb. Come easy to you. So you're going to his then? I'm just getting out of here, okay? Want to smother a kid? They've got you. I'm going to tell. Craig, do what you want. I don't care. <sighs> right, sir. Have another. She'll think we don't care. No, she'll think there's no point in playing stupid games if we don't take the bait. Oh, no wonder I don't understand women. You're scolding this stuff from being kids. <laughs> you love the sense of mystery. Now, go on, get another pint.
not now a blade for the film and I hate missing the start of the film. Yeah? Are you okay now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Going somewhere? Uh, yeah. A long way away, I hope. Actually. Because I think you're sick. Just leave it, eh? He's my dad. You were my friend. What's that about? Using me to get to him? No, of course not. I'm still your friend. Oh, you can forget that. Okay. Fine. If that's how you want it. But look at you. You've done all you've done because you love Todd. It's all in the same. Todd's 18. Martin's twice that. Oh, really? Oh, we hadn't noticed. Do you think we haven't talked about it? Sarah, we tried to stop ourselves. But when someone's meant to be... Todd, you know... They laid me out of this. Lying to your family. Their Have friends you thought Todd? why Martin was so supportive of you when your mum didn't want you moving in with Todd? You're not taking credit for that. Well, we talked about it. Like a couple. He listened to me and I made him see that you are old enough. You're not a couple. It's just Sarah. This case and this bag. I'm moving in with him. Is that enough of a couple for you? You are. Not my idea. His. We love each other. Happy now? No point in asking you around for tea then. Katie, Craig! All right, love. Yeah. Homework. Katie, not back. Is she wrong, girl? She's taking her stuff. What do you mean? She came in, packed a case and went... You what? Went where? Why didn't you come across and get us? Well, what did she say? Did she, did she leave a message? Did she say where she was going? She's empty the wardrobe. You know where she'll be, don't you? Tom, there is no point charging round there. Oh, this is more good advice, is it? If we hadn't gone to the pub, if we hadn't had that last drink. This is all your flaming fault, this is. He told me he were finishing with her. And you were stupid enough to believe him? If we'd have been here, Angela, Katie wouldn't have been able to take her things. She'd have had to face us and explain. And you're so clever, are you? Doing things your way nearly killed her, have you conveniently forgot that? You're blaming me! I don't know how you've got the nerve. Stop it! You're both as bad as each other. If you're not picking on us, then you're arguing. And you wonder why she's gone! Right, so uh, where shall I put my stuff then? Wherever. I've cleared a couple of drawers for you in the bedroom. Although if you're out like Sarah, you'll just throw your stuff all over the floor. Yeah, well, I'm not like Sarah. Hypocritical little cow. Oh, she was just miffed because she didn't tell her what was going on. She'll come round. There'll be plenty as won't. And do you really think I'm worth it? Hey, come here, you. You know you are. Mm-hmm. Anyway, won't be me the thinking's mad. Middle-aged saddo dropping lucky with a bright, lovely teenager a bit. Mm. What does she see in him? Mm. Well, I'll tell you what I see in you, mm. but you'd only get more begetted. Mm. Well, are you trying to say something? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's calmed down. What about you? You are joking. Maybe I should go. Have a talk with her. Maybe I should go. Rip his head off his shoulders. I know how you feel, but... Uh, what do you mean, but? That scheming little Torah's got our daughter around there doing God knows what. Yeah, and us charging round there is only going to push them closer together. How much closer together can they get? She's moved in with him. He just wants to hope he gets preferential treatment off that hospital that he works in. Tommy! She's here, isn't she? Eh? Just calm down, Tommy. Get Tommy, you coming! No! Just touch him again, you bullet, and I'll call the police, and I mean it this time! Tommy, it ain't worth it. Oh, it's typical, isn't it? Getting women to do all your fighting for you. Okay, Tommy. You tell me what difference it'll make, apart from making you feel better, and I'll come out on the street and brawl with you. What are you gonna do? You're gonna flatter me? You're gonna drag Katie home again? Do you think she'll stay? Just how long do you think you can keep her locked in? I think you're so clever, don't you? Yeah, well, it's cleverer than you. Being fast with your fist don't make you right, you know. And you learned all. Have you heard all this? Daft ideas he's filling red with. Look, I think we both know that Katie can make up her own mind. 
Dad, I have just put myself in the hospital to try and make you see. And you're still trying to lay the law down? I'm your father. Stop acting like a kid then. Oh, you think oh, you you're not dumb? You lie to me, mine. You said you'd finish with us. That's right, Mum. For he's not what we want. Either of us. She'll let you understand, even if he don't. For the last time, shut your gob and get off. No chance. Oh, can't we talk about this like reasonable adults? Reasonable? You call stealing our daughter reasonable? I'm not stealing anyone. Look, I know how difficult this is. You don't know not. You warped. It's your choice. Stay with him. We no longer welcome round our house. Right, well, I think I've made my choice, don't you? See, Katie wants to be with me. I want to be with her. It's going to happen, Tommy. Well, it is happening. Katie, it's this last year. All that's happened. You don't love him. Yes, I do. And nothing you can say, nothing you can do, nothing is going to change that. And if that means you disown me, fine. Get your car! Sorry, hey! Sorry, no! Oh, oh, okay then. Come on, smack me. Put me in hospital, you in jail. It's not going to solve out, Tom. And it means a lie. I'm sorry. It's okay. I, yeah, it's over now. I hear them. Why do you have to be so horrible? Why can't they just understand? It's okay. It doesn't matter. Nobody can stop us being together now. Hey. Mm. I've lost her. <laughs> 